today thanks to millions of Oregonians following the strict physical distancing measures I put in place, I am happy to say that these sacrifices have prevented as many as 70,000 COVID-19 infections and 1,500 hospitalizations in Oregon. We are on track in meeting the goals that doctors and public health experts have laid out for us. And that means we now have the opportunity to begin rebuilding a safe and strong Oregon. We have stabilized COVID-19 hospitalizations statewide. And in fact, we hit a record low this past week with fewer than 100 coronavirus hospitalizations across the state. We are increasing and enhancing supply chains for personal protective equipment. We still don't have everything we need, but things are definitely improving. We have finalized our statewide testing and contact tracing strategy. We've been ramping up those programs rapidly so that we can safely and quickly track, trace, and isolate new cases. From the very onset of this crisis, I've said that data and science would inform my decisions. And science and data remain my guideposts as we begin the reopening of Oregon. But let me be very clear. These choices are not easy. As we reopen parts of our economy, we know and expect that there may be an uptick in new coronavirus cases. That's why we have to be prepared in every single corner of the state because as we've seen, an outbreak can occur anywhere in the state. Reopening any part of our state also comes with risk. This virus is still very dangerous, and it still poses a great threat. Until there is a vaccine, unfortunately, we will not be able to go back to life as we knew it. Not here in Oregon, or frankly anywhere. By continuing to limit our physical interactions overall, and with science as our guide, today I'm announcing the first details for the first phase of a step-by-step -step reopening of the state of Oregon. This framework takes into account the unique ways the virus has impacted different parts of Oregon. And here's what it looks like. First, we have established a detailed set of prerequisites that any county who wants to begin reopening must meet. These thresholds will help counties keep people safe as possible while we rebuild they are also achievable. I've been briefing county commissioners across the state over the past week on details of these requirements, and the Oregon Health Authority is providing support in meeting them. For counties that meet the state's requirements to move into phase one of reopening, the following sectors are eligible to reopen open, it, open following these specific safety guidelines. Restaurants and bars in these communities may open for sit-down service, but only with adequate physical distancing and the wearing of face coverings by employees. We encourage our customers, of course, to wear face coverings as well, but not while they're eating. Personal care businesses, such as salons, barbers, shops, and gyms, may open in a limited way. We will require physical distancing and increased sanitation as well as a series of additional guidelines like wearing face coverings and gloves at salons. Salons must serve customers by appointment only and maintain records for contact tracing. Retail businesses can also open using physical distancing. We ask that they encourage this through proper signage, one-way flow in aisles, and using tape markings to delineate space. Local gatherings can increase in size to 25, again, with physical distancing. There is some difficult news to share. Large gatherings, including live sporting events with audiences, concerts, festivals, and conventions will not be able to return until we have a reliable treatment or prevention like a vaccine. The Oregon Health Authority is advising that any large gathering, at least through September, should either be canceled or significantly modified. 
I know this is really, really hard. I too will miss visiting our fairs and our festivals this year.